All right, IED, we're going to be doing activity 2.1.4, document the assembly. And this section is going to be basically split into three parts. Here's the general rundown of how things occur. Uh, when you make an assembly, it's going to be made of lots of different parts. And an assembly uh, documentation will include a uh, sometimes an exploded view of the object. So here is an, an example of an exploded view from something that is a regular view. The regular view is the assembly all put together, uh, and an exploded view is an example of an assembly already like kind of pulled apart so that you can see the different connecting pieces. Uh, you see this a lot whenever you buy things like furniture and, and you take it home and you have to assemble it all together. Normally you're given exploded views of where to put the screws and where to put individual pieces. Um, and also you can also see a bill of materials. So we're going to break this section down into three parts. Part one, we're going to learn how to get this information into Onshape. Part two, we're going to make the exploded view. And then in part three, we're going to put in the callouts. And they should be, by themselves, relatively easy concepts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our selfie stick assembly. And I should have a drawing made of this selfie stick. Ooh, looks like we've got some callouts already made. But one of the things that, and there's also a bill of materials too, but one of the things that's missing is, you know, there's no exploded view. So if you just put callouts here or just put bubbles in the place, uh, and each bubble should correspond to like one part. But if, if it's all pushed together and uh, kind of compact like this, it's really confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this drawing style and we're going to be adding uh, an exploded view to it so that we can actually see what's going on. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to add information about each one of these parts. So we're going to go up into the little hamburger menu up here and then we're going to click on workspace properties and there's a little arrow up to the left side and it's got all of these parts right next to them. This is where we input our parts that have all of our information. So you can see that there's a description uh, and then there's a title one and a title two and a title three uh, and so on and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to just type in our description right here. We're going to call this one shoe top. We're going to use the exact same thing that we have for the name. And then if we put it in the description, it should show up in the bill of materials. So I'm going to hit apply. And every time that you do this, let's see, shoe bottom, you're going to see that a little uh, yellow arrow shows up. That means that you're going to need to update the information. Call this shoe one. I'm going to just hit apply. I'm going to hit apply for every single one of them. You can probably wait till the end. Uh, but Oh, and if you click on the individual, so like each one of these can have different versions inside. So this is the part studio. If you want to put in the part number, uh, you can click on this individual part. So like we can call this one like, I don't know, part one, part two, part three, so on and so on. I don't necessarily think that's necessary for us this time. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll see if this actually works. So we're going to do stick adapter and stick top and stick bottom and phone holder oops holder top and then phone holder bottom and then we'll put in our thumb screw and we'll hit save and that should bring everything out. Now when I go over to my drawing, uh, whenever we put them in there, this description should actually update with the individual part numbers, but it doesn't actually look like it did that. So uh, I might actually have done this incorrectly. So 